Welcome to another MADE Training Academy video. MADE Training Academy provides online classes to become a certified professional cleaner for as little as $200. As a certified professional cleaner, you will learn how to deal with hundreds of different conditions, situations, and ways to clean a house. Watching these videos is not a substitute for certification because they only show you a few conditions and situations. For more information about course topics and enrollment, visit madetrainingacademy.com. This video is on window blinds, and we're going to look at this in a couple different uh, manners. Uh, when you are uh, usually doing recurring service, you're going to be dusting the blinds. On an initial clean, spring clean, or even a move in and move out, you're going to wet wipe the blinds. And they are handled in different ways, although there's some generalities that apply across the board. In this video series, we're going to tackle two types of, of window blinds. Uh, one is uh, the more common uh, wooden slat blinds. And we're also going to look at uh, the smaller metal blinds uh, that bend quite easily. Uh, the other blinds that you may encounter are like plantation shutters, which are not too far different than the wooden blinds, but they are a little bit different, and we review those in your certification class. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started on window blinds. The first blinds we're going to work with are the more common wooden blinds. You have to uh, use your Swiffer or your duster, start at the very top. You are going to flip the blinds uh, to the closed position. Usually the down position is the first one. And you're going to simply Swiffer all of the dust off of those. Now you'll see she's going back and forth. She's also lifting some of the blinds to expose more of the blind. And this blind didn't have much dust on it. But also the other way you can do it is long strokes down. Although long strokes down seems to miss more areas. So it's that side by side. You'll also see that uh, Brittany's is going beyond the, just the original blinds where they stop. She's going to the very bottom as well too. And then she'll flip the blinds and she'll use her Swiffer the same manner to go again across. Again, you may separate those blinds from time to time depending on how many blinds are on there. And you'll see the pace that she's moving at. You'll see that she'll also hold that blind in place from time to time as well, too. Next thing she'll do is she'll have to gain access to behind the blind. You never miss that. That's a big uh, factor. And that's where cobwebs, spider webs will hide and dust. And so you reach behind there, or in this case, you'll pull up the blind and dust the entire blind uh, from top to bottom. When you uh, release that to go down, uh, you'll also take note that often you'll actually hold it and bring it down. Next thing you'll do is you'll return it to uh, its original position. Now if you're going to be wet wiping it, you may have to get on a two-step step ladder because you're not just doing the blinds, you're also doing the molding that's around the blind as well too. You're not doing the windows, you're just doing uh, the molding around the blind and also then in these wooden, plant, uh, these wooden shutters, uh, you are going to keep them open like that uh, you'll see you're actually doing every blind and be mindful of that runner string that goes on either side. Some blinds will have even as many as three or four strings. So you're really kind of doing them in section. Look at the way the rag is hanging over her hand. Uh, that allows her to then be able to use her thumb to grab the rag to do the underside and then her uh, fingers to do the top side. But you, Because you are doing both sides of the blind at the same time. See her moving her rag around. She'll shift her, her the rag to get a cleaner section of the rag. And also she'll uh, shake that rag from time to time to get any loose dust off there. And once she's at a point, she can step off of her uh, two-step step ladder and continue to do these uh, one at a time. Uh, if you run into a blind that is super dusty, you may have to swiffer it or dust, her, dust the big chunks of dust off Otherwise, you put a wet rag on dust and it turns to kind of like mud. Uh, so again, if, the, if it's been a long, long time, uh, you may have to dust it first. Uh, keep an eye on the time. Uh, you'll see that dusting the blinds with a, a Swiffer or a duster took about one minute. You'll see here that hand wiping 
the blinds takes about five minutes, so it's five times as long. And again, you always wanna move your equipment out of the way. Now you'll also see that drape that's hanging to the side, very common. Uh, you just need to work around that, move it out of the way if you can. Just always remember, if you move something out of the way, you have to return to how it looked prior to starting the project or that area. Now you see uh, uh, Brittany is this cleaner and she's uh, going to a knee. Uh, gets that way it keeps her uh, you know, topic right, at, right in front of her eyes. And she can also see a little bit underneath uh, the blind as well too. So that's a good move. Uh, anytime you can avoid bending over, uh, that, that's huge. That'll, wear, that'll save you. Now you are going to your knees, uh, but it is a lot better than bending over. And so that, that is certainly a key move to do a good job all the way to the bottom. Now keep in mind, you may run into some blinds that may have some sun damage, some yellowing. Uh, you're not gonna be able to get that off. What you're really doing is you're, is you're wet wiping the dust off of there. Now you may find a stain on there and you may be able to get that stain off and you certainly need to try, even if you have to go to your caddy and get uh, some different concentrate. Uh, what she's using here is a wet rag and so all kinds of solution you use on that, but typically you'll even use your mop water because it's a, it's a bucket of water and a floor cleaning solution is safe on all wood floors, or it should be, if, depending on what you use. Uh, that's what we use. And then, uh, so that's safe on everything from baseboards, blinds, uh, and even uh, molding because those are all wood products or something that can certainly handle uh, that same type of solution. So you'll see here, there's even though it, it the uh, as it's resting on that windowsill, she's still individually hitting every blind and she's checking to make sure that's done. And even that bottom thick blind, she's doing that as well too. So you're not just doing the exposed blinds, you are doing all of the blinds. So now what she's doing, she's getting that out of the way so she can get to the other areas once again and she's wet wiping all of that. You're not cleaning the window, you are cleaning the frame and all that area behind that. Now, if you happen to see a screen there, which you'll find in a lot of homes, uh, you're not. You're just cleaning on this side of the screen. Uh, we recommend not to remove that. Uh, check with your employer to see what their policy is. So again, wet wiping the blinds includes the framework that's around there. So a spring clean, move and move out, or whenever a customer wants it. Uh, that's how they do it. See her holding that so it doesn't just flop down and come crashing down. And as she finishes, she returns it back the way she found it. Now this next series are uh, what you find in some older homes. Uh, the smaller uh, metal blinds, uh, they, they bend easily and to the point you can actually bend them and they don't come back. Uh, you'll cause a crease in them. And you do these a little bit differently on the wet wiping. Uh, you'll also see there's three runners here. So she did, uh, she's using the long stroke. Uh, these, these smaller plantations, uh, you can do it the other way like Brittany did the other one, but this is the more common way. And you can even do that way on, uh, on, on other shutters, but it, it, not, it doesn't work as well. You see that she flipped it and now she's stroking it up. Why? Because the groove of the, of the blind is actually facing up versus down. And so that's why you have to stroke it up, even though you're going top to bottom. Once again, now she is pulling the blind away from the window, in this case, versus lifting it, which is a good move. It's a little bit faster and a little bit safer. So anytime you, you raise a blind, there's a chance of getting stuck, a string of getting broken, or again, as you return it, it can come crashing down as it slips out of your hand. Now we're going to wet wipe these. Sometimes you don't need to uh, dust them first. And so once again, uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, awesome professional cleaner is a little taller than Brittany, so she doesn't need a step, step ladder. But she's basically going down each section of the stringer. Instead of going all the way across, she's working her way all the way on the right hand of that first stringer. So a lot of different ways you can do it. Once again, she's hitting all of those blinds, not just some of the exposed. Then she's coming down the other. Now you'll see she's pushing the blind, these mini blinds, against the... A window because then that makes it uh, that that flimsy blind uh, prevents it from bending it to the point of it being broken or being stuck as a as a crease or a fold. So you're you're pushing it, and when you're pushing it against that window, sometimes you're even spreading it out. See how she's spreading it out a little bit to get all exposure. 
uh, to those to that to the side, the surface of the blinds. Fantastic. Now again, she's going at a good pace. Uh, this is going to take again right at about four minutes to clean one blind, and to dust the blind took about one minute. So you'll see that uh, hand wiping a blind takes five times as long as it does uh, dusting them, which you typically do in a recurring service. Got to be careful again, and even though you're, you're, she's holding against the glass, even down here where it changes from the top pane to the bottom, I don't want to bend those to break. And that's why some make companies even avoid doing them. Some make companies say, we, we just don't do blinds uh, because of the risk of, of, of breaking them and bending them. And they are sitting in the heat, which means what? They're going to get brittle. How long? Every day, all year. So blinds can be a real dangerous point if you're not careful. Now, see how that got stuck? She pulls it out, makes sure he looks good, returns it back before she does the other side of the blinds. And so with uh, the, the other ones we did, the first series, uh, we left them open, used our fingers, top fingers and the thumb to do both sides simultaneously. Uh, in this case, uh, that takes too long because the number of blinds are twice as many, if not more. Uh, but you do have to do both sides of the blinds. Now on uh, metal blinds, you'll find that the bottom sides usually don't collect much dirt, dust or anything else. It's just the top side. So sometimes you don't have to do the bottom side. But for most companies, if you're doing the blinds, and if a customer you know, thinks that you're doing the blinds, they're going to expect to do both sides. So again, depending on your policy, uh, you know, different ways of doing that. Once again, she's exposing all of that to make sure she's getting all of the blinds, not just the ones that are showing. So they kind of collapse there, as you'll see at the bottom. And don't pull down too hard. It's easy to pull that whole bar down. Uh, it's not uncommon to have a, a damage claim where, of you as you're holding this uh, or even cleaning or even dusting it. Not as much, but especially with wet wiping, you can pull the whole thing down because the bracket's on top. If it's a 20-year-old house, it may be loose, and you don't want that to come crashing down on your head. So always before you start, take a look at those brackets if you can uh, to make sure that's in a good position and safe. Uh, before you even start uh, with any blind, whether you're dusting it or let alone if you're hand washing it like uh, we're doing here. And you simply continue to work around that pole, uh, the, the little, the little uh, rod that you use to turn them around. Uh, again, you're not stopping. She's working at a good pace. She's keeping her eye. Once again, she's going to that knee to keep that eye level on there. Fantastic job. That's a real professional move right there versus trying to bend. And what you gotta do after that, she's gonna check her work a little bit. She's gonna return it back. She's gonna back to that. And then back how she found it. She saw it, she's gonna take a look, and there's that bar, and then she's doing what? She's still doing the frame. Okay, so that was just the blinds on that. Now she's still gotta reach behind. Now you could, you could raise it, but in this case, she's reaching behind and wiping down all of the molding that's around the window, that little crossbar as we refer to it between the top window pane and the bottom. Puts it back up so it's resting like it was before. Check her work, great. And then she's moving on to the next one.